What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show with H and Joe. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a little while. We, we're late. Really late. But we're late in general on everything. In life. Yeah. We're going to be late to our own funerals. Definitely. I can guarantee it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... Because I'm going to come and haunt y'all because I'm y'all pro- forgot something on my makeup. I'm probably going to be late dying. <laughs> right? They're going to be like, God damn it, you were supposed to die like an hour ago. God damn. Yes, how is everybody doing? I hope y'all are all doing good. Yeah. I hope y'all are enjoying the podcast, y'all. Um, It's been fun making these. Very I'm, fun. I'm having a blast. This, this week we were kind of off because it's hard to do it without our, with our kids here. Yeah. Because both of the girls are actually here and it's super freaking late. Yeah, like I, I'm actually like on my toes right now because I'm like, bro, one of these kids gonna wake up and I'm gonna have to knock somebody the fuck out. Yeah, so if if we're a little off, it's because we're like <laughs> trying to make sure our kids don't freaking get out of their room yeah. or wake up. Definitely. So, and we were like trying to not to like use that as an excuse not to do one. So we're like, they're gonna be here. We're gonna have to do it. Like, yeah. Because usually we have my mom or my grandma babysit at least for two or three hours so we can And they hold and it down, it man, yeah. but her grandma really had some surgery on her eye. Yeah, and my mom was busy this week yeah. for her to, do, to be able to. So we were like, okay, we're just going to have to do it and hopefully it comes out good. <laughs> hopefully. God, I fucking hope. Yes, yeah, so we'll see. So this one might not be a long one. Just yeah, a heads up. Maybe. We'll see. Who knows? Our kids surprise us sometimes. Yeah. And I feel so, ow, I feel so weird <laughs> with these things on. I don't know if I like them. I finally got some fucking headphones, y'all, but I only got one pair. Which, that makes no sense. He makes it seem like he's the only one that uses stuff. Um, I didn't think she would like to use headphones, so. That's I really I don't like. like it, but it looks more appealing on the eyes. Oh, okay. See, she's worried about how people look and not how shit sounds. Well, it got to sound good. It does sound good. It does. Okay. It's very fucking clear. And your point is... I'm just <laughs> fucking saying. <laughs> oh <my laughs> well, don't you want to hear it being made? No, it actually sounds really weird. I don't like to hear myself. Oh, yeah. So, it that's does. Well, you gotta get so used to it. weird. I, I've, I've gotten used to it, like, over, like, ten fucking years. Yeah, no. Not a fan of hearing myself. That's weird. I wonder if anybody else is like that. Yeah. Because I just don't like hearing myself. Even when I go live and, like, you're reading the comments, I hate when the volume's up. I'm like, what the fuck? You already know. Well, I just don't like when the volume's up because it interferes with our No, I live, just don't you know like it, period. I don't like to hear myself talk. Why? I don't know. <laughs> like, I hear myself talk. Everybody has a fucking voice. But I don't know. It sounds weird. Like, whenever you're hearing yourself, like, over, like, the camera, over, like, a microphone, you sound different than, like... Than you sound in your head? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I guess you're right. I, it, yeah, because sometimes know. I'll be singing, and I'm like, damn, man, your voice sound good. And then I record myself, <laughs> and you're I'm like, like oh, Ugh, what the fuck is that, bro? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> sound like a dying cat, son of a bitch. That's funny. Have you ever, like, recorded a song, and you're like, what the fuck was that? Oh, yeah, dozens of times. And I, I think it's worse, though, dude, because, like, back when I was, like, trying to learn how to sing, mm-hmm. I think it, it hurt my my self-esteem a little bit because like i'd record like like songs that were actually made like like you know number one hits and shit mm-hmm. i would try to record them but just me singing acapella and like the dudes would go in there and like play it and they just like make fun of me and shit you know what i'm saying i'm like man fuck y'all you know i'm trying i'm trying to learn how to sing here and y'all motherfuckers ain't letting Over me they're making fun of you yeah so i kind of like that's why I'm kind of, like, scared to sing in front of people. You know what I'm saying? But you're not. I'm not scared to sing in front of you, but I'm, I'm scared to sing in front of people. I don't believe you. Because of that. I don't believe you. Why don't you believe me? Because, like, I'm pretty sure you sang in front of tons of girls. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> yes why or no? Why is it always girls <laughs> with you? <laughs> yes or no? God. Yes I or have, no? yeah. Okay. I, I have. So don't say you're embarrassed because you have before I, plenty I guess, of times. No, because I guess I just feel like... 
you could sing better and I, I really I'm okay I could harm I can harmonize the shit out of some stuff I'm a harmonizer like Bone Thugs and Harmony I wait I can harmonize the shit out of some stuff but you can't sing no yeah, I guess only people like that John like, Legend could fucking sing. I guess people that like know how to sing or like are into singing and like music stuff will understand what you're saying. Cause normal people will be like, "Bro, you can sing." Yeah, yeah. Normal <laughs> people are like, "Yeah, you can sing," but but there's a difference. Yeah, man. Like when I listen to John Legend or like fucking Trey songs, I'm like, "Bro, them motherfuckers know how to they sing." They can bro. sing. Yeah. Yeah, they could. They could just acapella and sound good, you know, without like any. But I'm pretty sure if you practice, like. You'll be there too. Oh uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, cause singing <clears throat> singing's like a learning. It's a learning thing. Like you can learn how to sing good. Mm-hmm. It's not like a gift. Like I, people I people believe- do like <clears throat> grow up with a gift. Like you like, can be able to just sing, sing without with any practice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, you can't. But learn I how believe to sing. it, cause like whenever so, me and you were considered what choir. What do they call the people that were in choir? Choir queers? Yeah, choir queers. I was a choir queer. So was I. And I feel like I sounded a hundred times better back then when I was in choir than now. I feel like that too. But you're, you're yeah. every day. You know what it I'm saying? It was like an just everyday singing thing. singing that shit every yes. fucking day. So, yeah, I feel you on that. I loved it. How long were you in choir for? I was in choir from sixth grade all the way to, I think, 10th See, I 11th. think I was in fourth grade. And our choirs were were after school, so this was like an See, after and, school thing. I don't, well, not that I know of. I don't think we had a choir like that. If, if like, they did, I'd be in it. I was. I would have been in. <laughs> I was, They would. They would have recruited me. They would be like, "Hey, yo, Shut little dude, up. little little good looking dude, can, you want to swing in our choir?" Shut up. No, we literally had to try out for that choir, like the after school one. So that was pretty cool. And they then, weren't tryouts. They were just like, we <laughs> they, they were going to hurt your feelings. <laughs> I can't stand you. And then I was in choir all the way until my freshman or sophomore year. And then I got kicked out because even though I was in choir, I didn't like for them to like single me out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I hated that. Yeah, because they'd be trying to get you to do like the hand, the hand like the hand. Like no, that I fuck. didn't mind, but like I would just hate when they would like try and to make you sing by yourself. Yes, I hated that. And <laughs> you gotta be able to fucking. And that sing. day, I just wasn't in the mood. I'm pretty sure we were probably arguing that day. I just wasn't in the mood, and he was like, "Well, you can go." Like the teacher, I couldn't stand him. Me and him always bumped heads, anyways, and he kicked me out. So I was like, "Oh, screw you then." Yeah, I only- was kind of sad. But I, I knew I wasn't going to last in there just because of the teacher. Like, I didn't like him. The only reason I got out was because, I guess, was it my junior? I think it was my junior year. Um, to get in choir, they wanted you to try out. And I was like, bro, I've been in choir since sixth fucking grade. Why do I have I don't have to try out. I'm, I'm better than all these fucking dudes, bro. What the fuck? So you literally didn't try out because yeah. you thought you were the shit. Yeah, like I was too good to fucking try out. You're I didn't know dumb. how to do the hand link or the, like, I didn't know how to read music, basically. Like, See, I was literally fucking Nick Cannon, bro. I, didn't, I just didn't know how to read music. I was the shit, just didn't know how to read music. I knew how to read music. I didn't know how. I still don't to this day. I do. I was that was I was good at. So that's why like on certain things it used to piss me off. Nah, fuck all that, dude. Reading music is hard. And then I was so mad because so I think freshman year me and Brittany, my friend Brittany, Mm -hmm. we were in choir. So we picked choir because we knew for sure that was gonna be something we were gonna have in high school together. Yeah. And so it was just a girls' choir freshman year. Just all girls. And then when we were going to our sophomore year, we did, like, a little tryout thing to see, like, what choir, because there's different choirs that you could be in. Yeah. And they had a choir for, like, the kids that were the shit. There was, like, like eight of them. Nine oh, they of them. had, like, an A team and a B team for choirs and yeah, shit? Yeah, like, so basically if you were in a group, cho- in the big group choir, you were you were just like, You were just ass. Yeah. And they were just like, you know, maybe all of y'all together. Together so sound, sound good. good. So, yeah, <laughs> literally. And then there was, like, that good choir. I forgot what it was even called. And then. It was probably a choral. I think that's what it was, yeah, to be completely probably. honest. I don't know why. I don't remember. So, and then in 
when we were going our sophomore year, they made us try out, and they wanted us to stay in the girls' choir, which the girls' choir were going to be mainly, like, freshmen, and we're like, fuck no. Yeah. And then we ended up just going to the other choir, but then Brittany ended up moving schools, and then I got kicked out. See, I don't really remember, like, what kind of choirs there was. I just know, like, in... I think six and seven grade there was a boy a boys choir and a girls yeah. choir. I don't really remember. In there was school. well, like fresh freshman year was like the all boys choir and then all the girls choir. Like there were more freshmen than anything in there. Yeah. And then our sophomore years, like it was mixed, and I had like I was in choir with Dallas and Zach. Mhm. So, that was cool. Like we we were. We yeah. were dumb as fuck in that class. We had fun. The fun. choir was fucking awesome. I love choir. I know. That's why whenever people used to like make fun of people being in choir, and I'm like, when I was in sixth grade, dude, and they they had gave, given us the option, I was I was scared. I was like, man, I don't I, I don't want motherfuckers to make fun of me. You know, motherfuckers why, don't call me like, gay. And why shit. is that? Like, I don't know, dude. And like in band too, like yeah, like I never got that. Like, what is so like not cool about band and choir? I don't know. Sorry. I was uh, I was always just scared, but then I got in it, man. And I was like, bro, the hoes in here, it's crazy. They're all over the place. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> you're dumb. You're and not. Then, you, you're gay for not being in choir. And then I feel so bad. So my brother, he's gonna be what seventh grade? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be in seventh grade, and he tried out for band. He ended up not liking it, but he felt the same way about choir too. And my mom's like, why didn't you ask your sister, like me? But he asked Mia, and my sister told him to pick band. And my mom's like, you should have asked your sister, Ray Ray. She would have told you to go choir. You should have done choir. Mm -hmm. And he did. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it this year. Like, I don't know what he's doing. I think I think he can be able to be in choir. It's band that they won't let you in. Like, like band, I tried to be in it in seventh grade. But they were like, nah, because I guess you have to learn everything in like sixth grade and I guess if you try to jump in in another grade well, he then you're was, just like falling he behind. was in band in sixth grade so he can be yeah but I thought you were talking about choir like if him wanted to be in choir I'm pretty sure the oh, letter yeah. choir well my mom and them are like no bro you're gonna be in band you made us pay for that expensive ass intru- <laughs> instrument you're gonna be in band you're gonna be in band bro I don't give a fuck so I, I paid get, $500 for yeah, that flute so motherfucker my, my mom's like you're gonna, you're gonna be in there I guess until they feel like he's paid off his instrument fuck. and I was like mom that's mean like literally guys I was like thinking so hard like how much money do we have so I can make my brother be in choir because I was like really <laughs> oh shit that's then, so funny and though. then he's he's in football so we'll see how he does then I just think it's funny as shit dude cause like when you're a kid like a little things like that just like get on you know like they, they go through your mind like fuck like if I'm in choir everybody's gonna make fun of me or if I'm in band no, only band geeks are in here you know yeah. what I'm saying I don't know. I kind of just feel like it depends on what school you go to, like how they like. I look was at worried these. about that shit, but we only have one school, so I, I guess. Here, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to explain. It. It's just like way different. Like when I moved from one sc- one side of town to the other side of town, yeah, totally different. What is cool and what is not cool. So. Well, now I don't know what school would be like. I don't know what's cool and what's not. It's way different now. Way different. Way different. And then when I, just when so we crazy. were in school, like, like um, being gay and shit like that was like frowned, frowned upon. upon. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Fuck you, you fag and uh-huh. shit like that." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now it's like it's, it's cool. You know, every, like everybody accept yeah everybody, everybody for what people they are for who they are. And yeah. Shit. Yeah. Well, see, that's how it was like pretty crazy. So, in the school that I used to go to, there was a gay uh, a gay guy, and he actually dressed like a girl. Mm-hmm. In school, but he, there was only one. That nobody ever like fuck like, with him or no, anything super, like that. No, super no, because he was like cool with like everybody. Yeah. Um, and then when we moved schools, there was no gay girls like in the school that I went to. And then when we moved, when I moved to the other side of town, there was like a lot of lesbian girls. Yeah. So I thought that I thought that was weird because they would be like holding hands and shit in school. 
I well, thought I, it I was like, like I think our, it was just different because I didn't see it like on the other side of town. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? like where I went to school, dude. Like I feel like nobody was gay. Was gay, but now everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like everybody just graduated and everybody just it's opened like, the door. Like, yeah. alright, I'm, I'm see. Gay. And the only you know one that saying? I remember out of the guys in school that was openly gay was Dallas. Yeah. And he's like, we became best friends in seventh or eighth grade. Yeah. And we're still friends till this day. I, man, I can't say that I, I knew any openly. Maybe, maybe Fonzie was, but I'm not too sure. I'd have to talk to him about that. We're going to have to get him on the podcast. We'll get you Y'all, on the that. first time I ever um, met Fonzie, he actually has a podcast and it is called Ask, Ask Fonzie. Yeah. Or something like that. Ask Fonzie anything. Yeah, yeah ask Fonzie think, yeah. anything. Go check that shit out. I, yeah, I was listening earlier. Were you? I haven't dope. listened to it yet. I, I like it a lot. Is he funny or yeah, is he serious? Funny. Nah, he's, he's, he's funny and a little serious around there. You know, it's, 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 it's just, you know him. It's you know him. what I'm saying? He's cool as fuck. So the first time I ever met Fonzie, he, we were at McDonald's. Mm-hmm. You remember? We were at McDonald's and I just hear somebody say, hey, how are you? Sounded oh, God. She like, fucking said, what the fuck? Sounded like a girl. <laughs> so if you're listening to this, he sounded like a girl. I'm not even joking, y'all. Turned around, and I was like, who the f- First of all, well, who Fonzie. the fuck? And he was like, Joe, that's Fonzie. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and it was so funny. And then we hadn't seen him, or I hadn't oh, wow. had seen him for years. And we went to IHOP, IHOP one night. and we were eating, and... He messes with Harmony, huh? Yeah. And I'm like, who the fuck is this man <laughs> messing with my daughter? And then he was like, did you recognize him? No. No. I didn't he him. just told us, like, hey, it's me. And we were like, oh, hey. What's up, fun? Yeah, we were all like freaked out because he looked totally different from the last time we had seen him, which I hadn't seen him since psh, forever. Yeah. It was crazy. He's still he's still funny though, and oh, yeah, he's, he's so cool. cool. Still funny he's so cool. cool. I freaking I freaking love him. Yeah. Love him. He's funny. Yeah. Every, just a FYI, everybody needs a gay friend. Those will be your bestest friends that you'll ever have. Like I'm not even joking. I I've never really had any gay friends. Just Fonzie. And now Dallas. <laughs> and now Dallas. But Dallas but don't it, like me sometimes. Dallas likes you now. It's like how you be acting with me. So it's 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 literally strictly how you treat me. <laughs> Dallas and H have like this weird relationship. Yeah. But he's been like huh, he's like my friend that's been there like through literally anything and everything. We can go months without talking and Yeah. Dallas is cool as fuck. Like he came to visit me and he no longer lives here. Like we don't talk or text each other every day, but when they whenever we hang out it's just like yeah. And he's always like making us fucking laugh. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that shit was hilarious. Oh, and yesterday. he's always spitting facts. Got him on the podcast yesterday. Huh? Yeah. All the so time. He's super facts. educational and like you're like, "Bro, how the fuck do you know some of this stuff?" <laughs> Random as fuck, but, but one of my bestest friends ever. Yeah. So, everyone needs needs one on their team. <laughs> you have Fonzie. Fonzie's yours. He doesn't know it, but you're his. Yeah, Fonzie's cool though. Mhm. But yeah. So I keep on touching my eyelashes because your girl got eyelash extensions. Oh yeah, she trying. She's over here flexing, y'all. She's just like, I wonder if I so see weird. So I see. went a little natural on the lashes because I have seen some and I'm like, oh god, that's a little too much, you know. So I gonna fly away. Literally, but so this was my first time. So I went pretty. <laughs> I went pretty natural. So maybe if I get them a next time, yeah. Depending on how they last, they actually haven't been falling out as much. As she said that they could fall out. I didn't think they fell out at all. She said you could lose two to ten eyelashes a day. Fuck, yo, how much she put in there? Son she of a bitch. She said each eye has fun facts about <laughs> eyelashes. Fun fact. You have anywhere from 70 to 100 lashes on each eye. Like uh, uh, like real eyelashes. Real eyelashes. Like authentic. Yeah. So she d- puts that on. Where the in, fuck you learn this? In on, eyelash school? <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> like... <laughs> In the, like literally, she puts a individual eyelash on your eyelash, so that's why it takes so long because they're putting them individually. So, um, what you call it? Uh, she, I had been telling her forever I was gonna get them, and finally, like, I was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna get them." I'm just gonna go. I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna go. try them. 
But next time I am going to go a little bit more long, a little bit more extra. These are pretty like, hmm, like, oh, are those hers? You know, they can kind of look like mine. So They look pretty cool, not going to lie. Yeah, so I do like them. I do like them. I'm just scared you're going to fly somewhere. <laughs> you're going to fly. You're going to fly into an entanglement. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, fucking Jada Joe. Y'all don't be hating on Jada. So Man, we never, fuck Jada, bro. We never talked about that. We never did talk about that. How do you feel about it? Like, um, do you feel like she was messed up or do you, are you like, okay, they weren't together? In all honesty, I feel like they weren't together. So it, cool. it's, it's free. It's free game. Mm-hmm. The thing that made me mad, I can give two shits about Will and Jada's all love relationship and all what and they I put them in it. songs and I you love, love them it. and shit. I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. What made me mad was that she did this. Well, nobody knew, it, you know, they weren't together and shit. Mm-hmm. Nobody knew. Everybody was just like, so fuck were- yeah. All the women were like, go Jada. Yeah, you get it, girl. You do this. You go fuck who you want. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Mm-hmm. But if it was flipped around. Mm-hmm. And the man did that shit They would have been like Men ain't shit Y'all ain't shit You know what I'm saying That's fucked up It would be Both of them ain't shit You know what I'm saying Yeah I agree That's how I see it Fuck both of them <laughs> <laughs> I, I do just, like the Fresh Prince though I do Just think like The whole thing Like It was nobody's business For it to be out there Like August yeah. was a little no, I, Bitch I, ass I feel, I feel that Like Literally, he did that for clout, and I didn't. I did think it, but like that whole little song that he's doing or was gonna do is dumb as fuck. I thought he did it. Oh, I don't know. I can't find it on YouTube. Maybe, oh, maybe. I don't know. So I don't know if it was like if he was, if he didn't. I don't know. So I think that's dumb. He didn't have to come out. They had been over for a while, and a couple then you're gonna, years. exactly, and then you're gonna come out and be like, oh well, I was with with Jada. Like, dude, like you're dumb. Like. Yeah, I guess that's... that's like, I feel like he that. was, like, ruining, like, some... Like, they, Jada and Will had already moved on from that. Yeah. And and you know for a fact that just brought them back to to that place. Yeah. And everybody making fun of Will's face. Like, fuck yeah. <laughs> he's hurt. Like, because... <laughs> like, you... you, you, you f- he forgot, like... Not that you forgot about it, but he's out of... How he felt about it, and then for him to have to come back what, to those feelings the way, again. The way they talked about it, yo, like Jada kind of was just sitting there, like throwing it in his face. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of like, oh, he made me feel good and shit, bro. I would feel fucked up too if you're sitting there. Yeah, talking she about, did, and then they were kind of like where he was like, he's gonna pay her back, and then she's like, bro, you've done this. Like she's made it sound like he's done that to her like before in the past. Maybe. And he was like, okay, okay, but I did like that how they like joked about it, like how they were like bad bad marriage for life and shit like that. I was like, that's oh, hilarious. They're on that bullshit, man. So mm. I ain't with all that entanglement <laughs> bullshit. I just I feel, I did feel bad for Will because Will was just like fuck, you know, like okay, like she's literally but you just don't feel, there. but whenever men do it to women and make women feel like the the faces that y'all seen Will make y'all men. Seen and oh poor Will y'all have done that to women too, and to women that y'all love so much the mother of y'all children exactly. We're talking about Will and Jada. (laughs) Okay. Anything else? No, exactly. There was so many guys saying that I wanted to fucking comment on every man's status and be like, bitch, you know you have done some some entanglements before too. (laughs) Maybe. Okay, maybe. You're on that bullshit, You're bro. You're on that bullshit. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. That's a good word, though. Entanglements. Well, Everybody using that shit entanglements is hot right now. now. Bro. Everybody using it's that word. It's so trendy. Everything. So trendy. Is it, is it crazy to you how everything gets trendy nowadays? Like, yeah, somebody I'm like, says when it, are we like, going to start trending? fucking trendy. I'm probably never going to trend. God damn it. We're going to have to talk about some crazy shit on the podcast in order to trend. So, I was watching TikTok. Like, well, I watch TikTok almost every night. I was watching TikTok, and I noticed the people that talk the most shit about dumb shit. I was actually talking about, there's this girl. I think she's a girl. She might be a guy that looks like a girl. I don't know. Like, to be completely honest, I don't even know what her little TikTok name is. She's, like, there, like, has millions and millions of likes and views. Talking about that only black people have edges. 
like that Mexican people don't or white people. Is that true? Edges to me are like baby hairs and I feel like every race has baby hairs. Yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, shit like that, yo. I, Which it, like, it kind of just upsets me that like I feel um, it upsets me that like nobody could do nothing cuz it's yeah. like it's it's only supposed to be that certain culture's yeah. thing. Like the whole braids, like I've That's been wanting. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Like when girls want like box braids. I've been wanting box braids forever, guys. Like forever, and I haven't done it because I know there's gonna be a certain person that like fucking gets a wild hair up their ass and wants to talk shit about it. Yeah. But even though I have plenty of friends and family members that are black, yeah. and they're like, "Girl, do it. You'll look good. You'll look good." So, I I think that's dumb. I feel like. Um, I feel like you should be happy that people are getting, um, Hold taking, on sorry, I already told you I don't want you to be fucking with this shit. Nah, dude, like, it sounds, like, distorted as fuck, that's what I'm like. It sounds, what? The same to me. Are you sure? Yes. Alright, okay. <laughs> sorry, it just sounded, you can't hear, or maybe it sounds different on yours, let me see yours real fast. Oh my god. Sorry. Very unprofessional. Very Sorry, y'all. unprofessional. Let me see what this shit sounds like. Nah, it's fucked up. Fuck, bro. And what? I don't know. It doesn't sound like nothing. It sounds distorted as shit. What is distorted? It sounds normal. This is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. You just ruined this whole... You just ruined it. I'm gonna have to fucking stop this, dude, and see. Hold on. Give me one second. It sounds distorted as shit. It doesn't it's sound distorted. like nothing. Fuck, it doesn't. Sorry. Because you don't believe nothing that I say. He thinks he's always fucking right. It's it's this fucking splitter, yo. There we go. No, it's because he doesn't listen to me, guys. He thinks he's always right. And Joe does not know what the hell she's talking about. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can't hear nothing. You can't hear shit? No. Let me see. What about... No. No. No? No. No? No. You just ruined my vibe. Sorry. Can you hear something now? Yes. Leave it the fuck alone. <laughs> sorry, dude. Yo. Sorry. No. No. You don't listen to me. Dude, it sounded fucked up in both of our headphones. No, it's, it didn't. It yes, sounded it did. normal. No, it started it sounding messed up when you were messing with the mic. Okay. <sighs> you just ruined my vibe. Just ruined it. <laughs> what was I talking about before you <laughs> rudely interrupted me and started messing with the mic because you can't, don't listen to me? <laughs> I'm sorry. What was I saying? I got to just have a fucking setup, dude, that I could just leave there. Well, but our it's not going to happen, fucking, so yeah. suck it up. Oh, I was saying... That different cultures should be happy that people find whatever from that culture is beautiful. Yeah. I think that. Even though I know, like, the braids and all that, like, has more depth into it and why they wore, wore them and so forth and so on. But they're fucking pretty, okay? Yeah. You ain't got to do your I hair just, every day. Yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> a lot of people... Well, I guess there is some people like that that are like, oh, well, they think our culture is cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, let's... Yeah, oh, there's, there is a lot of you them, know, but then there's a lot of them that are like, uh, like, y all, y all that's not appropriate, yeah. and blah, blah, blah. Like, fuck that. I'm gonna do what I want. If that's the case, like, honestly, me, my opinion, I feel like if that's the case, then people shouldn't be eating different kind Ooh, of foods. Yeah. Don't eat my Mexican food, bro. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Like, like, that's how Don't I honestly... Don't eat my fucking tacos. Put yeah. them hoes down. The burritos and stuff like that. And then, I've been super salty, guys, about... You're not Mexican enough. The, like, like on TikTok, there's a lot of like you're not Mexican enough. Like um, us, how we're considered Chicanos, like we're not Mexican. Yeah. And for like people that don't speak Spanish, some of our parents just didn't teach us to speak Spanish, not because they're ashamed of their of our culture. That was just more like that was their time to be able to talk in private without 
that's why my parents didn't teach me how to speak Spanish. Yeah. Because that's they would talk about stuff that they didn't want us to know what was going on. Yeah. I learned Spanish because I was interested in learning Spanish to be nosy. Because you wanted to fucking. And so. You wanted I, to be nosy. Yeah, so Shit. I started learning how to speak Spanish because of that. Not because my parents didn't want to. Spanish was my mom's first language. Yeah. And, um my mom just really didn't teach me like for spanish to be my first language because she was embarrassed you when think she started like she school. didn't want she didn't want you to feel embarrassed too yeah so not because she was like ashamed of oh she doesn't want me to learn how to speak spanish no and then like the whole like people wanting to know like how mexican you are yeah lately people have been asking us well where are your grandparents from where are your parents from oh yeah people ask where i'm from I'm like, bro, I'm from here. here. And I don't my, even know Spanish. My parents and my great grandparents, my parents, my grandparents and my great grandparents are all from here. It's not until we get to my great great grandparents that are from Mexico, but I don't know too much about it. And a lot of people are like talking mex- mess on, I see on TikTok that like basically you're not Mexican enough. Like trying to downgrade the Chicano word or being a Chicana and stuff like that. Which I've never said, like, I've always introduced myself as Mexican. Like, I've never said I'm a Chicana, which that's what we are. Like, if you want to get technical, that's what me and you are. Yeah. Because we've been, we're, we've been, um, like, we're from here. But it's, like, super annoying that, I guess, people that have, that their parents and grandparents are from Mexico are, like, downing us because we're not from Mexico. Like, we're not Mexican enough. Like... Like, I just feel like the world is, like, just, like dividing everything. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and not just different races. Even our own race is, like, trying to divide us. And I think that's dumb as fuck. That's, that's the thing, man. Like, a lot of people want want everybody to be treated equally, but they're not treating each other equally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, like, me, y'all, like, she probably knows more about my history than I do. Like, I don't give a fuck, y'all. All I care about is my fucking parents and my grandparents that <laughs> I met, it. and that that's it, y'all. Like I don't give a fuck about none of them. Like I don't care where anybody else is from. I was born in Hereford, Texas. All right, I and was born it. in America. That's it. I'm and American. see, and like me, I've always like wanted to know about like oh where nah, where fuck. like my ancestors come that from or like where none. we come from and just like stuff like that. Cause I, but me personally, not because like. I just feel like it's, like, interesting to know this stuff. Not just about m- my family, but, like, anybody in general. Yeah. I think it's interesting. Like, I, well, I love history and shit, so I guess, like, that's the only reason, if I ever wanted to figure shit out, that's the only reason why. Because I like history. But other than that, like, it's not going to help me in my but, everyday life. Yeah, you know not just saying? that, but I just think it's cool, like, for you to ask your grandma stuff like that. Because you still have her here. Some people don't have their grandparents here to ask yeah. them questions about people... You know, other people. Well, so. I, I think it's cool. Like, when I ask questions and I get some new information, I'm like, uh, oh, oh okay. that's fucking cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. See, like, I, but, I literally just asked my grandma if, like, her grandparents, which would be my great-great-grandparents, were from Mexico. And she was like, yeah. Like, she started telling me that. I never knew that. I, I was like, fuck, probably, like... My family that was from Mexico probably was, like, here when Texas was Mexico. Yeah. I literally thought that because, like, I never knew. And then my grandma started telling me, like, no, like, they're from Mexico. But we didn't get into depth because I kind of, like, we kind of left whenever I was asking her this. We were already about to leave. Yeah. So I definitely will start asking more questions. And I'm so interested in this, guys, that I'm very tempted to do the 23 and me. We probably, we probably will do it for a fucking... Just to, I I want to do or it too. I think it'd be cool. I just think it's cool just to kind of know like a little bit more. But how do we know? Like not, it's right. Yeah. How do you know it being real? I don't know. I you know I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm hoping that it is. Like how the fuck in the world are they gonna know? Like you have like five percent German in you or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Maybe we could just try. it. It'd be fun. It's just fun. It'll just be It'd fun be just fun to know. Him. Yeah. H is gonna. They're gonna say he's Irish and he's gonna be. He's gonna be dressing <laughs> like he's Irish. <laughs> so I mean, yeah. To me, it's just not that. That like, it's not like that impactful to my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really. Mm-hmm. Like I, I'll learn about it and I think it's fucking awesome, but I like like I, Dallas too. I'm, he not, was I'm telling not gonna us fucking stuff kill about, myself yeah. because I don't fucking. He know. was telling us about his like little family and like, we were like, hmm. Huh. Yeah, that's just cool. Yeah. yeah. So I I just think it's interesting like. Like, and then you hear stuff from family, like, oh, well, this, this, and that, and this, this, and that. Yeah. So, you, like, the the thing that I really want to know is, like, the whole, they said, like, my, um, well, was, like, 
something in the family was like Filipino. That's something that I'm super interested about. I want to see if I have Filipina in me. And then I was telling Dallas this, and he was like, I can see it. I can see those little Asian <laughs> eyes, he said. I was like, thanks. Asian ass and eyes. then H is like, yeah, she's been lo- looking a little more a little chink cheeky lately. <laughs> lately. I was like, thanks. No, but I'm interested. I think that's a racist word. It probably chink. is. It might be. It might be. How do you feel about all the racist shit? Do you think do you think the race is being played too much right now? It's it's just too or much. Or is it I annoying like, to you? I feel right. like there's like so much shit going on in the world right now, and like the, the we corona. We're gonna get into some shit. And then like everybody's being racist, and <laughs> I hate everything it. Racist. Everything is just like racist. Like yeah, like you don't like something, you're racist. You hate purple. Why you're racist? Like I just I don't. I, I've get had it. some people. I understand. I do understand. There is some racist ass people. Oh, fuck like yeah. and and I hate it, yeah, guys. I, I don't consider myself a racist person. And there are some people that are that just 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 who they are, and it's and it's ugly. But you cannot change that person. That that's how they're gonna be. Yeah. So move on and don't fucking like stay stuck on it. Go to the next. Like when when all this like uh Black Lives Matter stuff happened, mm-hmm. um, like when they all the riots and shit first started happening mm-hmm. and like protest, mm-hmm. protests and riots are two totally different things. Just throwing it out there. Um, I had a lot of people calling me racist. I'm like, bro, I had no clue I was a fucking racist. Like I'm, I thought I'm. Cool I just with feel like now if you don't agree with like the whole movement and all, you're racist. Yeah. You have to agree with every single thing with the Black Lives Matter thing. Yeah, you do. Or you're racist. <laughs> and I personally don't feel like that, and we I might get hate off of that, but I don't feel that. Don't way. worry, y'all. We're gonna have somebody I, on here yeah, that, that, that rock I, hard. You know what I'm saying feel, with the Black Lives Matter, so we can talk about it. I, I, if y'all know me on a personal level, I'm an emotional person, guys. So I feel for everybody, guys. Like, how do I explain it? Without sounding racist. No, <laughs> no. Like I feel for everybody. Like of course, like what happened to George Floyd. Like that was oh, wrong. No, it was fucked up. So wrong, guys. Like I, when that happened, I took like a whole day to like watch the video because yeah. I couldn't. No, I, I didn't watch the video until I seen it like on a news article, and I was like, damn, that's fucked up. Like, yeah, that, that's some fucked that, up shit. That was horrible. But. Then you see videos like uh, you probably didn't see it, but that one dude that got shot at the Wendy's parking lot, like, um, no, that I shit was did, huge, dude. And, and and like, it's fucked up because like they had the body cams and they they watched everything and everything was good, dude. Like they mm-hmm. weren't being racist, mm-hmm. they weren't, um, they they had a good conversation, you know. Everything mm-hmm. was cool, like everything was awesome. But I guess he was like a felon or something. Mm-hmm. And he was gonna go back to prison, so he didn't want to. Mm-hmm. And when they were gonna arrest him, he fucking he socked one of the cops and he took their taser and then he shot the taser at him and then they shot him. So I'm like, bro, like yeah. it's kind of justified in, in Georgia taking a taser from a cop or a taser is considered a deadly weapon. So he, he shot a deadly weapon. They shot a deadly weapon also. So it's kind of just, and then they fired the cops and now they're going to trial for murder and shit. You know? See, so, and then I see, I can't like it's fucked up. elaborate on that. Cause I didn't really watch it to like see it. To tell you, like, okay, yeah, this is how I feel about it and stuff like that. But I do agree. There are some cops that do, or not even cops, but anybody in general that is, like, more superior than you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Even if you go to, f- if you fucking work at the store and your manager, they they do. Some people do take they their... They abuse their power. They, they do, guys. And Big time. And what happened to George Floyd, that's exactly what it was. Like, oh, yeah, definitely. He, because he, he was just looking, just looking in the at, camera like, like, bitch, I could do what I want. Uh, yeah, ex- exactly. Like... That literally made me sick, like to my stomach. It, it kinda, like I wanted got just to, to the point to where like they were recording and he was just like pressing harder every time that they fucking tell him like, "Hey, get off him! Mm-hmm. You can't breathe." And he's and I I felt like just in my mind that he was just going harder. He probably wasn't, but you know what I'm saying that he was just fucking digging his yeah, knee. Yeah, that into his video back and was shit. just that like, shit was fucked up. It was just sick. Like it made me sick. Like, and I understand why everybody was like so outraged about it and I agree like with everything that they were doing but for you to start calling everybody racist and like start start calling people names because what they believe in and they don't believe in the movement 100% I think that that's dumb yeah I had people come come at me like pick a side like bro, I'm, I'm not gonna pick a fucking yeah, side like bro. I, I don't, I don't I'm not feel gonna like do it. We, we need to do that at, we need to do that and like I said 
like and in some things like maybe we just feel that way because we're not educated enough in in things which Dallas was kind of telling us like what it meant to him and so forth and so on and and I feel like I looked at it in a different view whenever he was telling us about it more and stuff like that but the same you you just can't change people's mind yeah yeah well see like Dallas like he's real strong in his views and like I'll, I'll open up and I'll, I'll listen to him and I will take knowledge from what he says but I mean, we're all gonna have our different beliefs anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, I still do. Like even stuff that he's told me. Mm-hmm. Like I, I still have different views on shit, mm-hmm. and I mean, I probably forever will. But um. And like the whole um, like with the whole Vanessa Guillen thing, like that, that just kind of. I feel like the world should have been just as pissed off with Vanessa like they were to George. Um, which is two totally different things. I get it. I get it. I totally get it too. But but, but it, l- I just feel it, like, like every George... like she she was murdered too. Okay. George Floyd he died. His they they gave all those celebrities came out. They donated money. They fucking gave his daughter a shitload of money which is fucking great. Mm-hmm. Um I'm they, glad, like, they, yeah, set. yeah. His family said they um they had a massive ass fucking funeral for him, mm-hmm. all that shit, and Vanessa died, and they didn't do shit. They ain't, nobody protested, nobody fucking nobody, no, no celebrities no, yeah, were talking no, about no, it. Very few, very yeah, few. Nobody's like them. really doing anything about it. And the same way um George George's mom lost his lost her son is the same way Vanessa's mother lost her yeah. daughter too. So. I, I do feel like I if just, we're gonna go hard like, for if we're gonna go hard for we need one, to, we need to go hard for all of us for for everything we're not and we're not, and, we're not that's, and that's the problem and and it's very uh, upsetting guys like t- like to me to see I don't want to sound fucked like up y'all but it, it it's it's fucked up how hard a lot of uh, Mexicans and white people go hard for the Black Lives Matter movement and nobody's going hard for Vanessa. and all races even or, even our own yeah, race isn't even yeah. going hard for the, the the our race is going harder for Black Lives Matter than for Vanessa what they did for Vanessa so we're not just like picking out I'm talking about even Mexicans Hispanics whatever you want to call us are not even going hard for it guys like it's slowly dying dying down of what happened to her like her, yeah, swept her, under the rug. yeah, her story is is about to be forgotten. The only reason why it's still, still so, um, like out in the open is because her mom and her family are making it. Yeah. Because everybody else done forgot about it. Yeah, it would have been forgotten already. So it it's just like so much like going on in the world, guys, and and probably even what we're speaking about somebody's gonna say we're racist oh hell yeah bro dude if we were like fucking famous and we got like fucking 20,000 views of podcast dude we would have got canceled quick fast bro Mm -hmm. how you feel about cancel culture I think it's (laughs) (laughs) I think that's so dumb too because they want to cancel somebody for like cancel people for for stuff that happened years ago but there's people that are saying dumb shit right now and they're still famous what wait no told you see what i mean y'all this little i thing. thought we was good i thought we was gonna run good but nope, nope. one little one. actually two little fuck ups in this one god damn one of the fuck ups is my fault though hey cancel culture is fucking whack though dude that it's so, so mind blowing how how could just cancel somebody like that? Yeah, from something they said ten or fifteen fucking years ago, they're like, "Hey, Which this some, motherfucker some, said that." No, some people do deserve to get canceled. Oh, like, yeah, I agree. I, I agree. Some, some of them, do. I'm just like, thank, thank God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I agree too. But, but cancel culture is dumb, like. <laughs> This is why we can't do stuff, guys. Oh, my Lord. And this is why we need a bigger house. Yeah. I'm going to have a whole goddamn room of just podcast shit. Or, and, and yeah. like, your makeup shit. Just, like, a work a little A work, work area, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No, but it's just shit. too much. Our world is too much. Our, our world is, like, so depressing right now. Very. Like, the, the world is making me depressed, y'all. <laughs> I agree. I, I just feel like... I just feel like we all need to come together. <laughs> okay? 
Just yeah. fucking come together, suck it the fuck up. We're not all gonna <laughs> agree. Okay? Yo, for, We're gonna for agree a little to bit disagree. There, I think before I think all this like racial tension and shit started coming up in like two thousand sixteen or fifteen, somewhere around there. And that's when it got really bad with like fucking everybody being racist and cancel culture and all that shit. Like that started being like the that was like the the start when everybody just started mm-hmm. throwing that shit in everybody's faces. Before that it was cool. Yeah, I, I mean just, everybody was which was I, still racist I, people and I, shit. I kinda just like stay out of all of that like in general. Like like I just kinda just keep my opinions to myself type of thing. Oh yeah, me too. Just sure. because I know I'm like however I feel about it, the next person's not gonna feel about feel the same yeah. way and i'm not gonna change their mind I, I, so i'm not gonna sit down and argue with you and be like oh you're fucking dumb because you don't agree with me and i just i just rather not go that route because like i said i'm not gonna change their mind and they're not gonna change mine yeah. so what's the use of me even stating my opinion well like, what well, to me like i i have my different views and shit like that and i have like actual views but sometimes See, and I like and to H, piss people off, yeah. so I I just like throw some fucking shit that I know is gonna make somebody mad. I will throw that shit on social media. Yeah, and, and then it like, makes me mad. like HB making me mad too, cause he just be posting stuff because like he said he just likes to piss people off, and y'all are dumb cause y'all fall for it too. <laughs> and believe it or not, some people think it's so weird that me and H have different views in things. They're like, how does that work? I'm like, what do you mean? How does that work? A, sometimes we just don't talk about him. Like, shut up. I don't want to hear it. Like, literally, I'll tell him, like, I don't want to hear it. Or B, I hear him out. And then he hears me out. And we're like, okay, well, I still don't feel the way you feel about it. And we go on to the next subject. Yeah. Like, when, when we're I never, argue... yeah, we're never super pushy on, because I believe in this, you need to believe in this, too. Yeah. And I thought that was so weird when people asked, well, how does that work? I'm like, um, when I argue you with can't be online, with people. When I argue with people online, like, I never resort to, like, name calling and shit. But me, y'all, shit, I've been called every name in the fucking book, yo. Motherfuckers just start going. And, like, a lot of people don't even, like, hit you with faction and They just hit you with, like, bitch. You know what I'm <laughs> like, saying? You know what, fuck you, like, bitch. Fuck you, dude. Yeah, shit like that. They'll never really come with, like, cool facts and shit. And, like, me so and Dallas like, are yeah. best friends, and, and we have different views on certain topics and things. Yeah. And he's still my best friend. <laughs> yeah, like so. Dude, that's I, why lost, it's so. That's why it's so mind blowing. I'm to not gonna me. say I lost friends, but there's people that like deleted me off of Facebook and shit because because of that of the shit that I post and shit. Yeah. See, I I don't do that. There's some people that that post and believe in things that I don't believe in, but I don't go and delete them because to each is their own. You believe in that. <laughs> you believe in that boo boo. And I just go on about my day. Like, I'm not going to take the time to be like, this person... We'll get into them views one day, y'all. Mm-hmm. That we both don't see eye to eye, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are like, what are you Man, talking they about? They're going to fucking unfollow me real quick. What do you think about, like, all the, um... All the pedophilia going on right now? The pizza gate. I, I never... I haven't heard about the pizza gate. I know it's all together. But I, I never read... Not, I haven't read anything about the pizza gate and shit. It makes me sick to my stomach that I don't even read the stuff. Like, the stories. Or the meanings and stuff. Because when I say I'm an emotional person, guys. Like, that will, like, mess with me mentally, physically, and spiritually. Like, where I won't even be able to sleep at night. Because I think of stuff. Now what I can it? hear that. There. There. It's this fucking wire, man. Maybe we just need a new wire. Yeah, probably. I'll probably go look for one. They're not that much. Um, so, I think it's sick. I do believe it's real. I believe some of it's real. Some some of them some of them be throwing in conspiracy theories, and I'm like, bro, that's that's not fucking real. But uh, de- there definitely is fucking pedophiles out there that I. Is it still doing it? No. Sorry. There really is like all, like fucking um when they start pointing shit out, bro, like fucking Chrissy Teigen and them, bro. That, I'm like, bro, that's nasty. Mm-hmm. Y'all some nasty motherfuckers. Them fucking tweets that she deleted, dude. Like she was like in that shit talking about little girls and shit. So how do you feel about that? Like, do you feel like John has anything to do with that? I uh, John's actually his name's actually in the fucking logbook of the Jeffrey Epstein shit. Like to go to the fucking island. 
Yeah, his name's in there. Like, it's a fucking... It's already, like, out there. His name's in there. I don't know. John can fucking sing. But don't get me wrong, y'all. R. Kelly's the shit, too. He's, like, the probably one of the greatest musicians of all time. But this dude was fucking the shit out of some little kids. And I'm like, bro, you're fucking terrible, dude. Like, you're a terrible like, fucking it person. it just, like, blows my mind. These people that are, like, that rich literally could have any woman in the world. Literally, woman of age. And, and now they, you're trying to fuck little kids and shit. Yeah, like, it literally makes me so sick, guys. And I feel like I take stuff like that, like, to heart because I have daughters. Not yeah. that it don't happen to boys because it does. But stuff like that just makes me sick. It makes you literally want to keep your kids with you forever. Do you, do you think it's as bad as people are saying, though? Because, like, people are talking about, like, they talking about, like, little kids, like, fucking four and five and shit. Yes. But, like, from the Jeffrey Epstein documentary they were just what like 14 16 mm -hmm. you know shit like that like no, yeah, I, I feel like it's or do you it's think like it's like kind of separate like jeffrey epstein from all these other motherfuckers you know what yeah, i'm saying i feel like it's every age because people be i know i know it's every with age se with sex trafficking they yeah don't give a shit if, yeah definitely but like are. what's going on right now though i don't know uh, do, do you think it's crazy though that nobody's talking about it like none of the media like they're yeah. they're just talking about covid and like the election and shit yeah i mean nobody's talking about the pedophilia or anything going down with that yeah. shit yeah it's, it's it's fucking weird i think it's weird that's whenever conspiracy theories come in and you're like oh okay you're right yeah you might be a little right on you might be on to something yeah i don't know i just feel like ugh. i don't know i feel you on that it's just like too much is it just too much to just the take world it? is just too much right now it's literally up. like <laughs> and then where's my phone <laughs> where did it go yo 2020 is off the chain 2020 is ass and then so i'm like okay lately i've been like okay i'm gonna send sim to school you know you know i feel like that's the best best thing for us to do for her because she's gonna learn more and then <laughs> hold on i'm going to it then there's this, this, they're saying it's a disease, but that they don't have enough information to actually make that statement and call it a disease. It's called MISC, and it has something to do with COVID in children. And one of these girls that I'm friends with on Facebook, her niece is actually in the hospital because of this. So I'm like, what? Never heard of it. I literally, I shared it, you need to read it. And I was just like, okay, I think I'm just going to keep my kids in a bubble. <laughs> That's, yeah. I mean, what what can people do, man? We're just going to live in a bubble for the rest of our life? Yeah, our kids just need to be on bubble in general because they're just like some sensitive ass kids. I just feel like everybody just has to stop being fucking scared, bro. This is ridiculous. Sir. Yeah, but there's like so much like to it that like just nobody knows. And then they tell us like... We, we don't even know what to believe. They tell us shit, and I'm like, bro, you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> like, they tell everybody, like, different stuff. I'm just like, what the sh... Ugh. Yo, if I ever go to the doctor for this shit, I'm, I'm going to tell them. Yo, like, bro, you don't even know what the fuck's <clears throat> going on right And now. today, my allergies were, like, so, like, so bad. And then um, H's god sister was like, you might want to go get tested. I thought it was my allergies, too, and I actually tested positive for COVID. For and I'm the like, Rona. And I was like, I'm not going to go get tested because they're probably going to be like, yeah, you have it. But I honestly, <laughs> it's just my allergies. Like, yeah. I could not stop sneezing. My eyes were so watery. My nose was like freaking pouring boogers. And then I just couldn't breathe on one side. So I was just like, and I basically slept all day today because I just couldn't deal with it. I hate sneezing <laughs> so much. I hate it. That's why, that's why I tell you to take Benadryl for allergies and shit. So you you can't be sneezing when you knock the fuck out. Well, I didn't need it. I fell asleep. Y'all, I was I was so like over it and I was so tired. And I don't even know why I was so tired. I literally fell asleep with my glasses on. And you didn't even take off my glasses. <laughs> the fuck you want me to do? Go up in there like, okay. Yes, I would do that to you. Okay, little princess. There you Let go. Me some glasses. Wow. That's right. fucking I, I know, I know where we stand. I didn't even fucking notice. <laughs> I woke up and I was like, fuck, I still have my glasses on. They were all like this. <laughs> it's a random ass question, but what is the first thing 
You're just you, a random ass person. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely fucking Just random. a little What FY. is the first thing that you see in a man or a woman whenever you see him for, like, the first time? What was the first thing you noticed about me? Like, the first time I met you? Yeah. How you dressed? Yeah. But now that I'm older, I don't know what I would look at. Like, me neither. Like... Like if I was, I guess single. I don't know. I don't know what I would look at. Look, look at. Cause I feel like nowadays you can't look at looks. I'm like, I need your credit score. How many baby mamas you got? Like <laughs> we gotta do all that. Like literally. God damn. Are you I a don't good- give a shit about you. My credit's fucked up. Why do I gotta worry about yours? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Not the credit score. But how many mom- baby mamas do you have? Uh, do you take care of your kids? But no, do you really take care of your kids? Is your baby mama really crazy or do you make her crazy? Like, stuff like that. So, I really don't know. And whenever I see a girl and she wears makeup, I look at her eyebrows first. I make brow contact before I, eye I contact. Never, I never realized how much I like that makeup. Until. <laughs> Is it because right. of me? Yeah, it's because of you. What do you mean? So, when you see a girl, you see her makeup? You look at her makeup? Not, not, not now. Not, no, that wouldn't be, like, the first thing. What's the first thing you look at? Probably, Honestly. like, booty. You're a perv. And if you can't see the booty first and the boobs... You're a perv. Probably. And then the makeup. Yeah, I, I started I started watching porn when I was like seven. That is disgusting to even talk about. It's it's not even my fault though, y'all. It was. It was your brother's. See, yeah, well, see, <laughs> I had an older. I, I had I have an older. <laughs> well, I know you made it sound like he's dead. <laughs> and he he was what like four years older than me. Yeah. So if you were seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah, he's so around he, that. He age. was like eleven, so he was in that age. But he had a homie and um. He stayed he stayed the night one time at our house and um we used to have Cinemax. I don't know if y'all ever knew, but there was like this little box you put on the back of your TV and you could get like Cinemax and HBO and shit. Was it legal or illegal those boxes? I'm not sure. I'm not totally positive. <laughs> but we had Cinemax, y'all and Cinemax late night was like Cinemax, you know what I'm saying? And they throw on like all the porno at that time. It wasn't real porno. We didn't know though, cause I was I was fucking seven. I didn't know what real porno was. And you do realize that's like a year older than your daughter, right? Fuck, that's terrible. But I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> and you just see oh, like that's all you see was like titties. And like if the dude is like eating the girl out, he was just like licking on her belly button and shit. But um, <laughs> I started watching this shit at seven, y'all. And I whenever like after that day, like. Me and my brother would stay up and watch that shit. But, like, we had one couch that was facing, like, the hallway where my parents slept. So, somebody would be waiting right there with the remote. So, if you seen the door crack or open, you just fucking, boom, hit the previous button and go back to Nickelodeon. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure your parents knew what you were doing. We had a system. Nah. You don't think they so? They never caught us watching porn on TV. But on the computer? On the computer, just a couple of times, yeah. You or your brother? Uh, I don't know about my brother. Maybe my brother, but they got me a couple of times. <laughs> couple oh, of times. Oh, my God. They got me. It, it was fucked up, though, dude, because, like, and like and in the middle room where my mom and him sleep now. Uh-huh. So, on the wall, like, on the back wall, like, where you, where you go, go to the laundry the room, laundry room uh-huh. that's where the computer was. So, like, if you walked in the door behind... You couldn't see. You, yeah, I wouldn't be able to fucking know, but they could... They, thought, whoever goes in the door is going to see and, a, a big and, old fat ass, you know? you still kept on watching it. <laughs> Yo, that was my fault, though. That was dumb. You were a little nasty-ass little boy. That was dumb as shit. I didn't think about fucking computer placement back then, yo. I didn't know it was like I had enough time to fucking sh- exit the fuck out. Dumb mouse. Yeah. We never and had a computer. We had them whack ass uh, dial up internet. We did too. We had that for a while. That shit was ass. And then bro. Wi Fi. Okay, so we had like. So we never had a computer like until I was like 13. Son of a bitch. And we had a laptop, and we got the dial-up thing, and then I guess that's when, like, Wi-Fi started coming out, I guess. Why? Nah. It was first, it was like... You hear that? Yes! Oh, Sorry. my God. I'm about to punch H, y'all. First, it was the dial-up, and then the DSL came out, and then fucking Wi-Fi. So, if you got no. dial-up, and then went straight to fucking Wi-Fi, you want some other shit. 
that's what it was. It had to be because it was like this. Oh, it was shit, an sorry. old Dell computer, like a laptop computer. And you had to put this little chip inside your computer. Oh, okay. yeah. So yeah, it yeah. was Wi-Fi, right? No. Nah, what was it? It was like the DSL, a little broadband. Oh, okay. I don't know. Band. I still don't know like the fucking terms with the internet. Yeah. I'm just like, do I no, got Wi-Fi? It's a stick with internet. Yeah. yeah. So we had that. And I remember like when we used to get grounded, my parents used to take it out and try to hide it. And one time me and my sister found it and we were like on MySpace and Chinga trying I'm to write everybody, space, trying bro. to write everybody <laughs> back like, hey, we're grounded. Blah, 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 blah. Like, and then we're like, hurry up because the other one had to hurry up and get on get on my space and so we're all like looking out the window waiting to trying to make sure that my um my parents never came home or my, my parents weren't already coming home so we were like my space was just the shit dude my space was fucking fire I, I we took my space for granted we did my space was so cool i miss it i miss my space too me too. That shit was fire, dude. My fucking page right now would be straight full of just like drink. Oh my God. That's what my page was all the time before. It was like a bunch of text and shit. Like RIP DJ screw and shit. Mine was. Like, I don't even know the motherfucker, but it's an <laughs> RIP DJ. <laughs> my, oh, mine was usually pretty like girly. Like, you know, typical. Yeah. Typical girl, girl. Yeah, that's about it. And my top friends were of always, always. Was my cousin Angela and my cousin Anai, my sister Monica, and who else? Lindsay. I think Dolores and Angela. I really didn't have a lot of boys on my top friends. If I were to go back to MySpace, I would my be top friend, one. my top friend would be my my number one top friend would be Tom. Fuck Tom. We took him for granted, yo. We did. We did. Tom was everybody's homie. Yeah, he didn't block nobody. He didn't fucking yeah. ban you for fucking 30 days and shit. <laughs> he did. He held it down. He and did. he was your only friend when you, you started. fucking started. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that motherfucker would be my number one. Back but then, you know though. What? For my parents being so strict, I was just thinking the other day, they never tried to go through any of our MySpace messages. Oh, dude, my, MySpace was fucking crazy. <laughs> oh, was it now? <laughs> <laughs> it was wild. Yeah, it was. Really? But you guys had, are talking all nasty on MySpace? <laughs> really? I had no girls on my top friends on MySpace. So you're telling me you would be talking nasty on MySpace messages? Oh, yeah, all day. <laughs> I learned on Tagged. I'm telling you, dude, Tagged.com, I don't know if it's, somebody has to remember this shit, but that shit was dirty. Like, that's where all the kids went to, like, talk dirty to each other. I guess I wasn't a dirty little it kid. It was great. It was awesome. It was cool. And that, that kind of like propelled you into my space and like, uh, what, it, what would it be like? Um, sexting? That's early sexting days. That's what that is right there. <laughs> early sexting. Does anybody that was remember like first, Moco Space? I don't, know, I don't know what the fuck that is. I was had it only one for, for Mexicans? Little, I want to feel like it was, to be completely honest. <laughs> Moco. But I, I had it for a little bit, and I just wasn't a fan. So I just stick to MySpace. I loved MySpace so much. Yeah, see, what tagged was a little bit before. Oh, I think it Dude, was before I MySpace. just wish I had my MySpace just for all my pictures. Me too. And all my music, man. But all the music on MySpace is gone. So It said that I deleted it, and I never deleted my MySpace. Mine's still there. Oh, so or my sad. music one. I don't know about my regular one. I don't even know what the fuck that one was. <laughs> I, I would just get on my, my music space. one though. So who are your top? Who would be your if MySpace was still a thing? Who would be your top friends right now? Tom. Just Tom, motherfucker. I'll probably have Tom. Uh, you on there? Probably Nick. And that's about that's it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have three top friends right now. Wasn't wasn't it the minimum? Was it wasn't I think it, was it like five? five? Yeah. So you would have to. Okay. You need so two I, more. I would throw like my brother Eric and then my my sister April on there. <laughs> what about your sister Brianna? Oh, she just did in case she didn't hit the cut. <laughs> and Haley. Oh, fuck. I, okay, I'd have to go to eight. Yeah, to go my to top eight. eight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how many tops I would have right now. I would just have all my siblings on there. I don't know how many I would have. 
Because I always felt bad for like leaving people out. I always felt bad too. But if uh, if somebody said something that I was like, okay, I'd put you on. But if nobody said shit, cool. so like, how did you do it if you were talking to two different girls? I wouldn't put them on there. Oh, so you still never put the nah, girls on there? Hell nah. Even if they on. told you? Yeah, no. Nah. And I I did most of the shit from like my music one. So like. People were always commenting on my page, you know what I'm saying? So anybody would just comment and be like, God, don't worry about them, you know what I'm saying? That's You're the Aussie, <laughs> the Aussie, <laughs> what don't kind worry. of person he really is. <laughs> don't worry about them, man. they just fans of my shit, you know what I'm saying? That's I what had you a whole, tell them? I had a whole fan page, like, on, like not a fan page, but like a whole uh, album of like people that send me fan pictures. Girls. <laughs> don't say. Women that send girls that <laughs> exactly. send Exactly. <me laughs> He's over here pictures. trying to be like. People, girls. Fire. Oh, was it? H is about to sleep on the couch over here reminiscing <laughs> over here. Y'all see his little face? He's like, all right, all right. You're on that you. bullshit, No, you're on yo. that bullshit over there. I'm on that bullshit. All cheesy and shit. What kind of shit is that? Mm. Thank God we met. we met in the Facebook days. Oh, my space would have ended it all. No, MySpace, I wouldn't have been like this pendejas over here. Oh, okay, those you, are just You his... need to put me on your top friends. <laughs> Period. And guess what? And he I would have like, well, that's too damn bad. <laughs> no, whatever. <laughs> Fuck yeah, whatever. Whatever, Mr. <sighs> We're going to put in a relationship on Facebook. That was all you. Asking for passwords? You. Or did you forget? Yeah, I forgot all this shit. I, <laughs> I bet you did. You you remember the littlest things, but you can't remember like some of the most important fucking things ever. <laughs> like what? Like any passwords for anything. Oh, I really can't, y'all. And he gets so mad at me. He's like, make it all the same passwords. I do, but I still forget because sometimes... Make them all the same. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. No, because sometimes I put a dot and sometimes I don't put a dot. So, you know, period. Sorry, I'm over here calling it a dot. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I put a period Sometimes I don't Don't you dare Are you a saver or a spender? Bet- You're a fucking saver Yeah I was about to say Between me and you I'm probably the saver Yeah I'm a spender I like to buy shit Sorry people are asking If we're gonna go live today I'm recording the fucking podcast <laughs> Fuck right yeah, I'm gonna need a new cord, y'all. This is really upsetting. This podcast is gonna be ass. It is, bro. I'm a little upset about that. I. Uh, fuck. You just ru- you ruined it. I ruined it earlier. I'm not gonna lie. I I, admit, <laughs> I know you did. I admit to my fuck ups. No, I'm a I'm a saver. I'm a spinner. Guys, I will literally use my makeup until there's literally. Yeah, we none. had we had a fucking sponge in there. I've. I, I'd have to That's say, disgusting that, that Why would you is, throw me Under the bus that like that That sponge has been nasty. there For like five years And It I'm wasn't in you. there For five years Why yeah, you gotta is. like Say dumb shit like because that You that make me ridiculous. look I'm like bro We can go look, buy sponges bro You make me look Nasty <laughs> and lazy For that right <laughs> there Motherfuckers know We ain't nasty Yeah Well you just made it seem like For the people that don't watch us Appreciate you Bruh People that don't watch us Are not gonna get this far Into the podcast anyway Whatever Don't even talk to me Oh, they're just throwing me under the bus. Anyways. Anyways, eat shit. (laughs) (laughs) Hurry up! What? What are you doing? Oh, because you're keeping messing with your phone. I'm about to punch you out. What? Nothing, bro. Nothing. Gone. Are we usually louder than this? Nah. Oh, okay. It's, it's around the same normally. But anyway. I never really have to edit the, the audio too much. Well, that's good. This this podcast I'm probably not going to be a fan of. And the uh, other two podcasts, I didn't like them. Well, I liked them, but I didn't see, like the lighting. Right yes, Does I could it, see it, and it looks he, way better. Okay. Um, maybe, the lighting yeah, killed the vibe. It depends on like everything. No. Just remember this setting right here, and we can fucking do it just like that. Exactly the fucking same, just for you. 
the lighting was ass. You be Dude, it you was be, the fucking No, same. it wasn't. You be complaining about my lightings all the time. And the one time I complain about lightning, you're like, it's fine. All right, you fucking photographer. You fix it then. You you should know it has to be on full blast 24-7. You should know. I thought it was, Joe. That was, it was my fuck up. See, this is fucking ridiculous. See, he'd be messing up all the time. And it's always guys' fault. Why the, the fuck time. is it always our fault? Because y'all don't think. Y'all don't think. So, <laughs> knock you the fuck out. Sorry. You made me forget I'm wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 y'all, I cannot talk for the past, like, few days. I cannot freaking talk. What? I don't know. Y'all, she be in a fucking mood lately. Y'all, I just want to knock her the fuck out. Y'all, I'm, there's something, like, literally wrong with me. I don't know what's wrong. It's I like a bug crawled up her ass. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, literally, guys. Don't know what's wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. She's going crazy. I'm going crazy. Literally. Like, like you know when you're off and you know you're off. I'm off. Lately. Oh, she's fucking off. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate ya. And then he doesn't, like, make it any better, neither. He just, what like... What you want me to do? Like, I've already told you that I know I'm off and you just, like, make it worse. Like... <laughs> oh, yeah. You definitely are. Yeah, like saying stuff like that. I'm just like, thanks, bro. I know I'm off. I appreciate it. You don't have to tell me more. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Literally, he's the worst person ever, like, with stuff like that. Sorry. I always tell him, pretend like I'm a new girl and be nice to me. What the fuck? <laughs> pretend like you have to win me over again. God damn. Why is it like that at the beginning of a relationship? I don't know, but. I miss it sometimes, like to a certain extent, because sometimes we were we were low much, you know. I feel like everybody is at the beginning. Everybody just like, oh, I love you so much. <laughs> 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 and sometimes, baby, <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> love, I love you. Like you always said, I love you like twenty times. I love you, baby. I love you. Do you yeah. love me? Do you love me? Do you me? love me? How much do you love me? <laughs> Fuck, yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if I miss all that, but there's just, like, some things that I do miss, and then there's some things that I was like, oh, thank God we're, we're past, we're that, past that already. Yeah, I feel you on that. What do you miss? I, I can't say that I, I really miss anything. Like you. <laughs> I, you just you just grow, man. I mean, you grow. And yeah, you but like I um, what would I say I miss? Like you were more lovable back then. Yeah, I guess you were more nice. Now you're like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna try to say that nice, but there's nothing nice. There's there's no no nice way to say nice that. Nice way to put it. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I do, but if I did, uh, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I don't, I don't miss nothing. Now I see new couples, and I'm like, bro, that's just, no. why do you do that? There's some like <laughs> today, like Gabby was watching the show. She's like, I just want to fall in love again, and I know what she meant by that because there is some movies that you're like, dang, like you remember that feeling that you used to have, like whenever you're first in love, like or you first met that person, or is that just. <laughs> Wow. That's a fucking girl thing. <laughs> no, then that means you probably really didn't love me back Shut then. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Literally. So when she said that, I knew what she meant by that. Because there really is like movies and just like seeing things. You're like, oh, I remember when I saw. Oh, that's sweet. Yes. Yeah, like, oh, I remember that feeling or like whenever. It was cute. But then you get and then you get toxic and then you get to the toxic stage in your relationship. Does everybody go through a toxic stage in their relationship? Uh, maybe I don't know. Okay. I think there's some people that don't. I think it was, I don't know. <laughs> what? What? It might just, just be us. I don't. <laughs> yeah, we had like the most toxic relationship, like a stage in our relationship. Yeah, I can agree with that. <laughs> 
<laughs> what the fuck you want me to say? <laughs> Nothing, because he always says I'm toxic. He just, you like, are. You're a fucking toxic guy. He just blames it on me. Yeah, no, there was like a super toxic point in our relationship where like you kind of both know it was over, but like you just love the toxicity that you just kind of stay. The toxicity <laughs> of our city. You're fucking toxic as shit. <laughs> and you fucking love it. I say I do. You do, or you wouldn't be here. <laughs> Right or right? No, fucking wrong. <laughs> no, but literally, I there was like a point in our relationship where we both like knew like we were done and over with, but like we weren't ready to like let go of it. Yeah, I don't know if everybody goes through that though. And then like all of a sudden it just like kind of changed. Like it was just weird. Like kind of probably like a little bit after I stopped living with you. Like yeah. no, started living with you. Like it. It probably got toxic because we were like with each other twenty four seven. We went from like only seeing each other on the weekends, yeah, to, to with going each other every fucking day, for every day, every fucking minute and second. Of and the it day. was all fun and games when H was getting laid like six times. It was a all day. fun and games, and I was fucking like a rabbit. <laughs> and then he was like, uh, "No, this is a bit much. This is a bit much." And then we got toxic, and then we were toxic for a while, and then. It got pretty, like, normal. And then I got pregnant. It's crazy how now, like, toxic is, like, a fucking trend. <laughs> it's well, trendy. Well, I wasn't... Tr- I, I, if, according to you, I've always been toxic. You're so, toxic as shit. So I've been toxic before it was trendy. Yeah, but it's really trendy now. Like, motherfuckers are cool to be toxic. I really don't feel like I'm toxic. I really don't appreciate you calling me toxic all the time. Because you're, if I'm toxic, you're just as toxic I as me. I ain't toxic at all. Yeah, you are. I don't know what the fuck yeah. I do. <laughs> really? <laughs> do you want to go there? This will be a four hour long podcast, and I will tell you Son why you're of so a toxic. Bitch. <laughs> These things make your ears itch. Ugh. I'm mine. Ugh. I don't like it. <laughs> Ridiculous, Joe. Why does it keep doing it? Because you're not holding it, bro. Sorry, I'm trying to... So, we finally got new phones. We haven't had phones. I'm so embarrassed to tell people how long it's been since we haven't had phones. Those struggles are real. <laughs> so, to us, personally, we don't feel like a phone is a necessity. Like, yeah. that's like an extra for us. Um, Our families know where we live. <laughs> we have internet. <laughs> <laughs> if so- we die... We they know where no, we live yeah. to come knock on the door. No, but like, so phones aren't a necessity to us. It's so kind of, it's kind of weird that we feel like internet is a necessity for us. Yeah. Because this of, is what we do. This is what we do. This, this is, is our, like our job. job. Yeah. Um, and because our girls are always watching like Netflix and stuff like that. So we would rather have internet instead of phone. So we didn't have a phone for a while for like six seven months months, guys um and we finally got phones and we gave zero shits if it was the newest phone or not we're just like bro we need a phone yeah it was so we finally got phones and i got the not the newest one h got the newer one you got the s10 plus yeah and he's over here trying to (laughs) go get the same one when he got the the newer one Oh, and the Note nope. 10. Oh, it's, that's still newer than, right? What you have? The Note 10 is newer than that one, but, but it's older, older than, than this, this one. one. And yeah. I'm like, bro, you're weird. So he's over here trying to get another phone. Ain't nobody have the motherfucker. I'm like, man, y'all fucking lying. <laughs> y'all just told me to spend more on this fucking phone, bitch. Yeah, so we finally had a phone, guys. Like, literally, the struggle has been... It's been pretty tough. It's been so real. Like, y'all don't even know how real it's been. And it's so crazy to say that because people just see us like we're just in a great position. I, I just, I think it's weird, dude. Because, like, like, whenever we went to South Padre, y'all, we talked to my dad's friend, Ruben. Um, and he was telling us, like, how he grew up poor and shit, man. But, like, he never knew. He never knew he that never he was knew poor. He never knew that he was poor. Like, like, that was normal to him. Yeah. And I feel like... Like, he didn't know people had more than them. Yeah. I feel like, like, me growing up, y'all, like, my family struggled quite a bit, but my mom and dad did a 
really good job at not showing the shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't remember ever, like, fucking struggling. But I knew there was times where we were, you know. Mm -hmm. Because, like, there was a time where my mom and dad both lost their fucking jobs. So it was fucking tough, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? See, and I think I did know we were struggling. But because my mom was a single mom, so I think there was only so much that she can hide, you know? Like, I feel like your parents probably hid more because there was two of them. Yeah. And so there was only so much my mom could kind of, like, yeah do herself yeah um but we like struggled like a lot like i don't want to say we were poor because we weren't poor like we still had a lot more than oh, others yeah. we definitely like my poor. mom like my mom made it possible like i had anything i wanted and needed um my wants might have came a little bit later than when i wanted it but i did get what i needed yeah. and wanted um but I do remember, like, times, like, where we didn't have water and, like, stuff like that. And and it sucked, but, like, it never, like, made me be like, oh, my God, like, we're poor. Or, like, yeah. I, like, I never dwelled on it. Like, because I, like... I knew w- my mom was going to make it happen. Yeah. Like, we were going to be okay, even if it was in a couple of weeks that she was able to turn the water on or so forth and so on. Um, so, yeah. I literally like I always say this but I feel like like whenever I think about everything that's like happened in my like short almost 25 years of life I'm like holy shit yeah I mean cause like back then I never really saw it but like now that I'm older and then I, I when I struggle I kinda see the same shit that my parents would go through when mm-hmm. they were struggling, and I'm like, okay, they were struggling back then, you know. What I'm and saying? you just didn't I know just it. I didn't know, back but now then, I but fucking now know. But now that you that we do, you're and like, it feels fucking terrible, you know. What yes, I'm saying? Like, guys, this and then is like, ridiculous. like honestly, I'm I rather us struggle now that our girls are young and yeah. really don't understand than whenever they're older and kind of understand like, okay, mom and dad can't afford this or that. Like, so I rather us struggle now that yeah. our kids don't really know too much. Symphony thinks when we say we don't have money that we really have money that we're just lying to her. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that's what she thinks. And I, and I love that. But I'm like, no, bro. When we say we ain't got money, we really ain't got money. <laughs> yeah. So just like things like, like I, I rather a struggle now than when the girls are older to yeah. see. But we'll see what happens when they're older. <laughs> we might be struggling then too. Hell yeah. No, but I feel like the whole world is struggling right now. I, I just don't feel like it's us. Yeah. I feel like everybody's struggling. There's a struggling. ton of people struggling right now, I feel. Mm-hmm. And nobody's really hiring neither. And the people that are hiring out. for like 20 hours. Yeah. 30 hours. 15. All this shit needs to just fucking blow the fuck over. I'm over the Rona. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm so... I think everybody is, guys. Everybody's over it. Everybody just wants... We just took our everyday lives for granted. Oh, yeah, definitely. Jobs. Being able to go to Walmart 24 hours. Like, Yo, I miss just, going to Walmart at fucking 2 in the morning, y'all. Y'all, we always Walmart. went to Walmart late as shit. So now... We always want to go to Walmart after 8.30. Why? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Me neither. So, but yeah. I'm just ready for it to go back. And I promise <laughs> I'm not going to take it for granted. Promise. I promise. <laughs> God dang it. But anyways, guys, we're probably going to go ahead and wrap this up. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode, y'all. Um, even with all the technical difficulties I had, hopefully I can get them fucking fixed. The next one will be better. This is gonna be r- ridiculous already. I'm gonna have to find a new cord. But um, I'm glad for like everybody out that's been rocking with us on this podcast. There's been a ton of people. Yes, that they, have been showing yes, love. guys. Thank y'all for being so supportive in general. Like just, yeah. just everything that y'all have have done. Yeah. For our, us? Um, like lately, y'all like our patrons have came in fucking clutch. Um, Ruben, uh, Patricia, Susie, um, Kayla, and Kim, like they've all came in clutch, y'all. Like when we really needed it. Mm-hmm. Um, like and, basically, guys, we're about to be real transparent. Like everything, like 
what business wise mm -hmm. that we've been doing business wise that brings in income is what has kept us going yeah financially yeah because if, if it wasn't for like us doing this y'all like um and trying to turn it into a job like we probably would have quit this shit a long time ago yeah and we probably just went back to normal shit. Mm -hmm. But everybody, like every single one of you, even the people that ain't our patrons, um, y'all have like stars. been pushing us, you know what I'm um, saying? Yeah, just what y'all tell us, uh, y'all purchasing stuff with the codes that I have. Purchasing our merch, all purchasing that shit, Purchasing our merch yo. and all that, which speaking of merch, we will be having... Caps. Caps. We only, we, we did a small order, guys. We're going to see how they go first. We're going to see how it goes first because we're not rich to be... Just throwing money away on throwing fucking hats. Throwing money. I, I love myself. I love my 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 brand, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. But not to have, like, 50 hats. On hand. On hand. We're not making any money. Yeah, yeah so we did a small order. I'm super excited, guys. I feel like this is, like, a big step. Huge step because we got a logo. Because we have a logo now. Um, So we're really, really trying to make this our job. Our job. 24-7. 24-7. We enjoy it. This makes us happy. This, everything that's going on, like, everything has been, the struggle has been real, but this has, like, kept us going, going and above water, I guess you can say. Yeah. So, we, we really enjoy doing this. We love making y'all laugh, guys. We, we love telling y'all stories. We love being able to be us and y'all get it. Um, sometimes I'm like, why do people even like watching us? We're just like, we're just like them. So yeah. it's, it's crazy just to see how much support we have been getting. And it's even more crazier that <clears throat> family has been a little bit more openly supportive guys. Yeah. So I feel like that's kind of been a bigger push for us to keep doing what we're doing. Rather it's the podcast, us going live, just anything in general, guys, like we're going to make it. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to make it big, like... Soon? Like, soon, or, like, <laughs> ever, or make it big, like, certain people, but we're going to make it. Yeah. We're going to make it work. All because of y'all. Yep, guys, so thank y'all so much. We appreciate y'all. More than we can ever explain, express, or put into words, guys, and I know sometimes when we tell y'all thank y'all, y'all might just think it's just out of habit, but no, literally, thank y'all from the bottom of our hearts. Y'all have helped us. Tons. Tons. And More have, than y'all could ever yeah, imagine. Y'all have helped us pay a bill. Y'all have helped us buy food. Y'all have helped us put gas in our car. Like, just being 100% blunt, guys, because everybody just thinks, like, seeing people that do YouTube going live, like, that their life is just just great, but it's not, guys. We're, they struggle we're, before they we're, got there. Yeah, we're all human, guys. Um, We all struggle, so... Thank y'all guys for just being supportive and being on this journey with us because it is a journey. We're still learning. We still just have one mic right now, guys. We're working with what we got. Um, we'll get two soon. We'll get two and we'll, we'll get a, hopefully like a little different setup. Like we have a lot of ideas, guys, but like I said, <laughs> you got, you know, the struggle's been real. So, um, but it'll come guys, it'll come. It took me forever to have my vanity that I have, guys, now. And it might not even be all that a pack of potato chips like some people's, but but I got I got what I what I needed and what I wanted. And it works. And it works. So so we're we're, we're getting somewhere slowly but yeah. surely. Slowly, slowly but, but surely. surely. It's getting there. So y'all don't give up too if y'all are working on whatever y'all are working on, it, it'll get there. Sometimes it's it's slow and it's not as fast as you as you, you want, want it to, but it'll get there, guys. Yeah, it will get there. Definitely. But anyways, guys, thank y'all so for much. tuning in. Thank y'all for listening. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, make sure y'all follow us on uh, Instagram now. Yeah. The show with H. Joe. Yes, we couldn't put end. Yeah, bitches. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, but so yeah, we thank have an Instagram, so y'all be sure to go and check that out. Um, hopefully... We will be having some giveaways soon if everything goes as planned. Yeah. So, yes, guys, when we do giveaways, it's our thank y'all to y'all. So, yeah. But be sure to go follow us on the show with H. Joe on Instagram. On Instagram. Um, follow me on Glam with Desi Joe on Facebook. 
and follow um, us on uh, the show with Asian, Asian Joe, Joe on, on Facebook, Facebook as also. well. And you can I'm most active on there and on my Snapchat, which is Glam with the Desi Joe three. And um, if y'all little nasty porn stars or whatever uh, y'all are, do not stop adding me on Snap. <laughs> Good gosh. I don't want to see a punani. I don't. Really don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank y'all so much <laughs> for checking out the show with H and Joe. We'll see y'all next, next time. time.